everyone and welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV where today we are taking on our level 25 Weaver Quest here with Redolent Rose. Hello there Redolent Rose, what kind of job or training do you have for me today? Redolent Rose has need of your assistance yet again. This is indeed an unfortunate development. Oh my god, I'm just realizing yesterday was a Monday episode and you know what I didn't do? Minion roulette. I'll do that as soon as this is over. Oh, Satora, thank Nymea you're here. I need your help. The entire guild is presently engaged with uh, dealing with a sudden deluge of orders. Amongst them was a commission for a bespoke dress, all aspects of which I had intended to handle personally. Alas, I have just this moment received yet another request, this time from Her Grace, which must, naturally, take precedence. Damn, from the Sultana herself. Since you have some experience engaging with customers, I would send you to speak with the client, Babawe, in my stead. We had arranged to meet at the Gold Court later this- Ah, oh, where's the time gone? Ahem. We had arranged to meet now. Oh, 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 you are busy. You are very busy. Bubba Y will be bringing his daughter Kokomo, for whom the dress is intended. Be sure to speak to her as well. Alright then, we are... Apparently in a bit of a rush. This is a problem. And... Hopefully, give, given how old that is... I'm hoping we don't have an overly rich patron, because this may reflect very poorly on us and the guild. Hmm. Let, let's hope this goes well. All right then. Hello there, Baba Y. I'm sorry for the the delay. We are very very busy. You understand. And who might you be? I was under the impression I would be meeting with the guildmaster. Well, it is of little matter, I suppose, provided the famous Redolent Rose still intends to design my daughter's dress. Oh yes, of course, he's just very, very busy at the moment, so he sent me to deal with this aspect of it, getting the details so he can get right to work. As for what manner of dress, simply put, I'll not have my Kokomo garbed in common cotton. A jeweler's daughter must be refined, resplendent, a ruby amongst the riffraff. Her mere presence should reassure my customers as to the quality of my... Ahem. <clears throat> I believe I've made myself clear. Pray relay my requirements to your guildmaster. I'm concerned. Hey, Kokomo, do you want to, like, speak on the other side of the fountain? Just so, like, I can hear your honest opinions. You're from the Weaver's Guild. I'm terribly sorry you had to come all this way. Oh, and Bubble, I'm sure you have many pressing business matters. You can go. I'll, I'll send Kokomo back when we're done. Truth to tell, I don't really want another dress. But Father insisted, and when Father insists... I just want this over and done with, so please, ask my father what he prefers and I shall defer to his wishes. Oof. Alright then, let's get on back to Redolent Rose and let him know how things are going with Baba Y and Kokomo. Hmm. If I mention I don't like Gul'dah very much? Not at all. I'm probably not being completely fair. The other city-states have their own many issues, but ooh, old dog just strikes a nerve with me. Hello there, Redolent Rose. I've got news. Ah, oh, you're back. So then, what manner of dress does our client desire? Something resplendent, which isn't made of cotton, you say? Oh, I might have known. His commissions rarely stipulate anything beyond ostentatiously expensive. And all for a poor girl who would rather the eyes of the world look the other way. Well, Vanya Silk would achieve the desired effect, though I doubt she would be able to feel comfortable wearing such an extravagant, extravagant dress. Velveteen, though. Yes, Velveteen might work. A fine weave of cotton yarn and diamite silk with a short, soft pile. Beautiful yet subdued like our modest maiden. It'll be painstaking to prepare, but so be it. I shall see to the patterns. The Velveteen I leave in your capable hands. Know, though, that Baba Y will not be satisfied with any ordinary fabric. Only the very best will suffice. In short, I require a bolt of the finest velveteen you can weave. Okay, lovely. High quality stuff. We can do that. So, to make ourselves some high quality undyed velveteen, we're going to need to make some cotton yarn. Uh, one craft of it should do. We'll need one dew thread. Uh, one craft of dew thread. Made from dire mite webs from bane mites up in the North Shroud. And finally, we can make the Undyed Velveteen, which is going to be level 24. And we've made this before. Okay, we're going to want to make this by hand to be guarantee that it is high quality stuff.
All right, let's get that as good as it can be. And now let's make the delivery. Oh my God, once again, I keep forgetting. Menu roulette. Menu roulette, what are you giving us today? Wind up cursor, all right, fair enough. Anyways, Redolent Rose, I bring you some high quality velveteen. Oh, have you woven the velveteen already? I have indeed. How are the patterns coming along? It's been far too long since I last worked with quality velveteen. You've truly outdone yourself, Satora. Baba Wise Daughter shall have a most magnificent dress. A pity she is no more like to wear it than her father. Though nothing would please me more than to be proven wrong. And hey, you are taking into account her desires as well, so it's going to hopefully be... Hopefully she'll enjoy, enjoy it well enough. But I rather suspect another dress is the last thing that girl needs. Yeah, sounds like father's a bit doting and not for her sake. All right, well, that concludes our level 25 weaver quest. So now let's get started on the crafting log. And I'm going to continue to refine how I'm doing the crafting logs. I'm going to keep doing it how I have been, where I'm reading off the ingredients uh, and not actually going over every last detail. But while I'm reading off the ingredients, I'm going to start actually working on the crafting log itself so that we're not, you know, just standing there doing nothing. Now, real quick, pulling up on my completion list, the crafting log for weavers so I can mark things off as I complete them. Here we are. All right, so... The ingredients we're going to be needing today from the, uh, let's start with crystals. In terms of crystals, we're going to need five fire crystals, or fire shards, rather. Uh, 49 wind shards, five earth shards, 132 lightning shards, as lightning shards are the primary shard used in crafting, uh, for weaver. And then two water shards. In terms of ingredients, we need 43 cotton bowl from the Central Shroud uh, over by Ben Branch. We're going to need 12 silver ore from the South Shroud from mining. Uh, in the North Shroud from botany, we need two latex. In Western Thanalan from mining, we need nine iron ore. In Eastern Thanalan from mining, we need four alumin. Uh, let me make sure I'm doing the crafting. Um, from items we get from enemies, we need one Gigantoad skin from Gigantoads north of Vesper Bay over in West Thanalan. I can pull up the map in just a moment. Let me finish off the Velveteen shirt. All right, let's check that map real quick. So, in the West Thanalan area, north of Vesper Bay is where the gigant uh, Gigantoads can be found. We need one Dodo Feather from Dodos over in Lanosia. They are most easily found right here just north of Swift Perch. We need one Dodo Feather. Uh, we need 50 Diarmite Webs from Diarmites over in the North Shroud. Uh, right around this area, just use the Falgord float. We need 50 of those, and that is west of Old Gridania. We also need one Diarmite Sinew from the same. Uh, we need one Beast Sinew, which I believe the best way to get that is South Shroud from Entelopidos right over here. One Beast Sinew. Three Old Goat Skins over in... Eastern Thanalan from Myotragus, Billies, and Nannies all along the Drybone region. Three of those old goat skins in total. Alright, back to crafting. Uh, in terms of pre-crafts, we're gonna need three iron ingots uh, from Blacksmith or Armor. We need two iron rivets from Blacksmith or Armor. We need four silver ingots from Goldsmith. We need three old goat leather from Leather Workers. We need one toad leather 
from, well, uh, Leather Worker. We're going to need 20 crafts of cotton yarn to get 39 cotton yarn in total. That's going to be, uh, that is fun. That is a lot of sitting there with the quick craft. Uh, then from that, we're going to need to make three undyed cotton cloth from Weaver. Uh, then last, no, second to last pre-craft from Weaver is going to be 25 crafts of dew thread for 50 in total. And then from, again from Weaver, we're going to need 33 undyed velveteen, which we just made a little bit ago, one for the quest. Then the last pre-craft we need is two rubber from Alchemist. Once that's done, you can go ahead and just go right on down the crafting log for Weaver, level 26 to 30. And there are no recipes that we're going to be skipping, I believe. I'll check right after we finish up this one, but I believe we should be making literally everything. Alright, there's our Wedge Cap of Gathering, and then going down the list. Yeah, we're going to be making everything. No recipes that we need to skip for any reason. So then, I'm going to go ahead and continue finishing off our crafting here for Weaver. And next time on Final Fantasy XIV, what are we doing? I believe we're going to be taking on another class quest. This time combat, as we take on... Let me double check. Ah! Looks like we're doing Gladiator level 25 next. I'll see everyone next time for that.